Okay, so, uh, uh, hi, um, you may be wondering, uh, why, why is that purple? Uh, funny thing, guess who recorded a whole episode with his mic muted? This guy. Uh, yeah, so I don't know who these people are, if you're wondering. Um, I think they're just here for the story, because, uh, I got a, I got a mail today, uh, one path ends, the next episode is, has been re-released, so we're going to be seeing uh, probably a bit more people running around. But, <laughs> fuck me, uh, I had such a good time filming the last episode, really, and uh, now it's gone. I have waited a bit, so I'm not super frustrated anymore. <laughs> Why? Why have I done this to myself? Okay, we can only power forward. So, recap. We found out that if we kill the Elder Dragons, the planet explodes. That ain't great, especially because the Elder Dragons are killing us all anyway. Um, so our options are let Elder Dragons kill us, or let Balthazar kill Elder Dragons, and boom. Which means, kind of best option we got is to stop Balthazar and at least delay the Elder Dragons and figure something else out. I mean, maybe Balthazar can absorb all the magic anyway, and it'll be fine, but even if that happens, we don't know if we can trust Balthazar. I mean, he's been an absolute shithead so far, so he could be an even worse problem than the Elder Dragons. I mean, particularly as a Char, I'm worried about that, because the human gods have never been kind to us. But, uh, it's time. Balthazar versus Primordus. Let's do this. Ideally with more frames. Alright, here we are. Um, a glitch in time. Approach. Skip forward to the chimney descent. Nope, okay. So that is essentially, it just lets me skip the dialogue and go towards the fighting. I want the dialogue, because this is a Tiny. story playthrough. I've reached the volcano's chimney. The druid's ward is holding. I am feeling some heat, though. I'd expect you to work up a little sweat, but let me know if you experience a fiery death. Thanks. There's... Well, looks like there's some sort of energy barrier here. Any ideas? I can describe it for you if you want. How about if I just take a look myself? Oh. You... Scruffy. He's fixed? Not completely. This is my fault. I wasn't going to let you go it alone. Balthazar's doing this. Not you. And I gave him the gun. Anyway, Scruffy's mobile and heat shielded, but he's still lacking weapon capabilities. So I won't be much good to you. It's just great to have you here. Facing a god of war and all. We're sure in it deep, Commander. Here, take this scanner and use it on the possibly deadly energy barrier. Alright, let's take that. Go nuts with the scanning. You said it's possibly deadly, I'm not exactly sure I want to go nuts. So, let's have a look. Volatile energy field detected. Uh -huh. Field is not naturally occurring for this geographic location. Gonna guess that means Balthazar or one of his people set it up. In that case, maybe it's not perfect. I can modulate your scanner to find any cracks in the armor. Let me see it again for a second. Okay. You go for me, Tommy. Come on. Try it now. We're on a clock here. Assessing weakness. Oop. Defect discovered. Please stand clear. Right. Hooray! You didn't die! That's scientific progress. It looks like the field tried to purge its weaknesses. Collect those anomalies and use them against the field. That should do the trick. I'd glide up there myself, but, you know. I'm in two tons of steel. The heated air in here should give you a lift. Yeah, you didn't die, that's science. Okay, well that's basically the Asura approach to life. <laughs> the energy barrier structure is fragile here. Alright, so that means we should be able to direct that energy barrier at the chains then. Uh, which I totally don't have advanced notice about. Uh, on the upside, having to repeat this instance um, does mean I've changed the audio settings a bit, so environment effects and music, and uh, will hopefully cause less of a problem um, with like um, overlapping my voice. Now, oh, hang on, let's just get that. Um, is that scanning? Yes, it is. 
And in the last episode, I had the combat noise turned down, which is staying. And I've turned it down even more. So hopefully, you'll still be able to hear it reasonably well, like with if, if the volume's up like high enough. Um, but also, my voice will be quite clear. Alright. And final bonus, there's a, well, minor spoiler, there's a fight scene in this uh, instance. Who would have thought? Uh, and I, I, I've memorized it a bit better. Because I hadn't done it in, a, in quite a while. And may have gotten my ass kicked a little bit. Just a little bit, alright? Nice work. I'll monitor your descent and stay in touch over the communicator. Have a good, uh, plummet. And I get another shot at a certain achievement, which you'll see in a moment. I've never gotten it, but and I don't expect it to get it this time. It's the kind of thing that I would need to focus on. You'll never guess what's down here. Please tell me it's not a second, even angrier God of War. No, another energy field, and some destroyers who don't like me airborne. Will standard... Have you thought about... you know... There's really no other way to kill Primordis or Jormag? They're each other's weakness. Like Mordromopolis, it's mine. And with, without my machine... I don't think they're gonna duke it out physically. Feels like that would be a disaster anyway. I can't believe we're seriously considering saving them. I know, but magic is so out of whack. If one more goes, all of Tyria might just collapse in on itself. If... if we keep them alive, how do we keep them from killing us all anyway? Hey, one problem at a time. At least we'd be alive to solve it. Okay, so dialogue is... I haven't cut it off now. Uh, let's destroy this last chain. So essentially, what's happening is Omaz machine. Is there any dialogue? Looks like you broke through. Down you go. Omaz machine is designed to tap into the eternal alchemy itself, the very workings machinery of the universe. And it also apparently. My sensors show you nearing the base of the chimney, but let me guess, another barrier? You got it, and more destroyers, many more. You know Shit. what to do! I'm not dying yet. Um, fuck, oh god. Okay, they're actually kind of dangerous. I might drift up in here until I drop out of combat. If I drop out of combat. Oh, here we go. Um, yeah, and so it, but it can also manipulate the Eternal Alchemy, on, like, like, at least within a local radius. Um, and it, that is through manipulating the ley lines on Tyrion. Okay, I'm a little bullshit. That's a dragon. Looks like. Timey. All of the destroyers. They just dropped. Uh, okay. So you've probably guessed that Roar was Primordis. We've passed the event horizon. The machine's on. We either let Balthazar kill the dragons and absorb the magic, or destroy the machine. <sighs> Don't plan on Bram ever talking to us again if we take Jormag off the table. I love that big dummy, but I'd rather be alive to try to explain myself. Alright, so brief summary here before I take out the last one. So as I was saying, it can tap into the ley lines. And essentially, Primordus and Jormag, we've discovered their two kinds of magic can counteract one another. One another. And the machine, like, okay, this is a very important plot point, which the story never really adequate, adequately explains. And when it brings it up again, very far into future storyline, it really doesn't make it clear. So you got to understand this now. Elder Dragons are connected to ley lines. They are very instrumental in the way Elder Dragons pump magic through the world. So, essentially, the machine is able to, like, use that connection with the dragons to essentially hijack their powers and direct their energies through the ley lines at one another and cause the dragons to essentially send magical laser beams at each other. That's the simplified version. Um, and the result is, they won't be able to control their abilities and they'll kill each other. It'll be, like, mutual destruction. So that is what Balthazar is going to do. But if we overload the machine, like, if I get Timey down there and she can alter it, the machine will explode and Balthazar, while he's still probably a pain in the ass for an Elder Dragon to deal with, he might even be able to fight Primordus one-on-one. -on -one. Who knows, he might even still win, but at the very least, we're taking away his ace in the hole. But then the problem is, these two Elder Dragons are on the verge of going all Mordremoth on us and... We're gonna have to explain to everyone why the hell we just let two Elder Dragons live when they're about to kill everybody. People could hate us quite a bit, especially Bram, because Br the only thing given Bram any consolation with his mother dying was killing Elder Dragons because one killed his mum. So, 
as the commander said, Bram's probably not going to be talking to us anytime soon, but we got to do this. So, let's get down there. If I ever catch this little floaty orb. I mean, I did just play this instance, but it still gets me every goddamn time. I can't fly too close to him. I light on fire. I learned that the hard way before. Um, I mean, no, I didn't. You didn't hear me say that. <laughs> this is Primordus. Now, this is the first time we've seen an Elder Dragon in person, really, since Zaitan. I mean, try not to trigger the instance by accident. Um, I mean, we kind of saw Mordremoth, but the idea with him was he was the whole jungle, like, so his body was technically in, like, 20 million different places at once. So, yeah, we saw the mouth of Mordremoth, which was a similarly sized body, kind of. But, I mean, well, not really, to be honest. Mordremoth's body was a similar size to Zaitan's, if I remember. Oh, no, I think it was quite a lot bigger. Um, Zaitan's whole body was, like, the size of Primordus's head. And look at Primordus! Like, he seems to be by far stronger than those other two. But I think the idea is... Zaitan and Mordremoth spread their power over a much wider range. Uh, in the sense, Mordremoth was the whole jungle, and Zaitan had an entire army of Risen because he, that he pumped so much of his power into. You can see a laser beam coming across here as Balthazar's got the machine active. Primordus, he seems to be all... all chonk. So, <laughs> hope you're enjoying this glance at him. Let's go down and stop Balthazar from killing him, hopefully. Yeah, any minute now. Probably could have hovered a bit lower. Let's not go on the laser beam. Oh shit. Are you fighting him? What's happening? Not quite. He's here, but not here, if that makes sense. Above the machine, in the channel of magic. What? Can you scan him? Looks like he's in the mists or something, quite partially. No life detected. Only magic energy present. Is the coast clear? Can I come down? There's a god and an elder dragon down here, but you're welcome to join. You can see he's pumping his own power, like Bloodstone and like um, Primordus and Jormag's energies, like with all the coloring. Whoa! Hotter down here, is that? That's Primordus, right there! I've never been this close to an elder dragon! I have. Should we be worried about it? I don't know, moving and killing us all? I theorized the machine would put it in a state of paralysis. Looks like I was right. So what's going on with Balthazar? He somehow inserted himself into the system, and he's so magically adept. So in order to absorb... Okay, I'll admit it. I don't really know exactly what's happening. But here we are, luck's ticking. What do you think? destroy it. A murderous, overpowered god of war is too dangerous to keep around. Even if you're wrong about the deaths of more dragons devastating the planet. Agreed. Your kind will not stop my campaign. Balthazar, what you're doing, you'll destroy Tyria. Your home is a trivial concern. They are beating me, dimmed my light. But they will see me now. If you won't stop, then at least face me. For the honor of battle. Of war. Good thinking. A certain death sounds, but good thinking. I've learned there is no honor in war. But if you crave the glory of the fray... Here we go. Tamar! Tegan! Beast! You take care of them and I'll start the overload process. Really should have triggered the banners before they spawned. Alright. Hello you little shits, I just fought you. Alright, I know I know all your moves now. Watch me still get wrecked anyway. Oh, come on. These guys do actually do pump out a lot of damage. Uh, but if I do ace this, uh, keep in mind, normally this fight's a lot harder. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That's what I want to see. Um, why is it still burning after you just killed Excuse it? Me. Try scanning it. An 
Entity Corpse is concentrating heat for revival. Energy channel disrupted. Uh. Glide! You need to grab both of those clusters of dragon energy! Oh shit, I think I cut off the dialogue. Um, she was saying... Okay, like, essentially Tommy said, uh, if I hadn't cut off the dialogue, if I do this to them, um, by ch throwing both Prime Mortis and Jewel Mag's energy at, uh, the wolf, um, the machine will think that they are a part of the dragon, essentially because the energy that will be channeled into them to revive them will be from those dragons, and the machine will just wipe them out too. Uh... Okay, I missed my window, but I can just lob this at him, so let's do that. Come here, come here. Alright, down again. Jump off the side. I'm just gonna turn the music up so it feels... Oh, nearly muted my mic again. I'm just gonna turn the music... Ah, the music is turned up, so this feels a bit more epic on my end. Alright, let's do this, you son of a bitch. Quick! Hit the hound's corpse with the dragon energy before it re- There we go. The machine is reacting! Nice work! Keep it up and the machine will think they're part of the dragons. Another blast like that should do it. Okay, that means they each need to take two blasts. Using the hot air to, glide, to fly with my glider. And, uh, yeah, I suppose something else the commander mentioned. Do we have to worry about Primordus moving and killing us all? Fortunately, he is paralyzed because if he can move and kill us all, then, um... Oh, wait, they're both up again. Um, if he could, because like, if he moved, we get like a tidal wave of lava in here. Alright, alright, alright. Oh god. Let's move away from that ring of fire there, because I don't want to take that damage. Alright, no idea which one I'm attacking now. Uh, would be ideal if I could take on the same one twice, because then I would have damage for less time. But, what you gonna do? It's very hard to actually select which one I'm gonna fight. But fuck, this is, honestly, this is one of my favorite instances in the entire game. This is a god fighting a dragon. And also, what was he talking about? He said, they abated me, dims my light, your home is a trivial concern. He's out for revenge against someone. Could, like, do the other gods do something to him? Like, it dims my light. I mean, that means he's been weakened. Oh shit, whoopsie. Um, I scanned it instead of using the, uh... Did I get him? You did it! Yep. That was a dire mistake. Then come out and fight Step me, out, bitch. Then. Stop me! Good one, Commander. All right. Uh, what was I saying? But yeah, like, if he was weak. Anyway, oh shit! I did the. Go. Oopsie! Yeah, I did the, the same thing again. All right. Well, it, I throw out some damage anyway. But yeah, if he if he was weakened, supposedly by the other gods, if he said they obeyed to be dimmed by light, I mean, what else could do that to him? Then that explains everything. That explains why did he go for a bloodstone? Why is he going for the other dragons now? Something happened. Some dispute happened between him and the other gods, and he's out for revenge. Alright, why is... I can't hit him. That's... Don't you dare. Don't you dare make me repeat this. Um... There we go, alright. So I guess he's trying to take the Elder Dragon's power in order to, like, rearm himself and to fight them? Is I mean, is that what's happening here? But yeah, like, playing this instance, God vs. Dragon, in a volcano, one of my favourite locations in the first game, this is, without a doubt, one of my favorite instances from Guild Wars 2. Where is that bloody wolf? Uh, you motherfucker, you got up already. Get the... Stop being a pain in the ass. Alright. Get down. Okay. And, um, yeah. So, as you can see, I, uh, I bitch slapped the, the wolves in this fight. Tamar and Tagon. Um, that did not happen the first time. That did not happen. I died several times because I had completely forgotten how this fight was going to go. Uh, Alright, come here, come here, come here. There we go. Another reaction from the machine. I mean, I, again. I suppose in a sense I'm actually powering the wolves up. But yeah, so these these are ta these wolves, they're Tamar or dogs, I don't know, the hounds. Um, they are Tamar and Tagon. Um, they are basically Balthazar's pets and they are very often depicted in human iconography of Balthazar. And, um, yeah, I'm killing them, because I'm a badass. Alright. <laughs> and in true, and in true Char style, there is no compromise where gods are concerned. We take them out. Uh, or I get blasted out of the sky. That's, that's also possible. Oh my fucking god. Jesus, okay. 
need him to stop throwing shit at me. Where's the other one? Oh, I can already do it. Go, 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 go. Alright, you asshole. Good timing. I'm ready to overload the machine. You sure about this? Am I sure? Are you sure? Yes, we'll find out. But what is Balthazar doing? Uh. Oh shit. I was weak. But I'm feeling much better now. Tie me, do it now. Alright, she's disrupted the machine. Oh fuck. <laughs> Shit, he took their power, he's charging up. Where'd he go? You okay? Yeah, yeah. The machine, it, it survived. Great. Huh, what do you know? I was ru What Jeez. was that? That was what I thought was going to happen. It just took a little longer. Tyria seems intact. So at least there's that. You see Balthazar? No. Looked like he was vaporized in the explosion, but... He apparently doesn't like to follow the rules I know. And Primordis? Ugh. Let me check. Elder Dragon Spectrum. Primordis. Energy subsiding to pre-awakening level. Night night, sweet dragon. Guessing the same thing happened to Jormag, too. Yeah, uh, still, we should vacate this hot hole ASAP. We just spared two Elder Dragons, Timey. I had to say that out loud. I don't really believe it. Paradigm shifted, but I'm relieved I'm not responsible for the death of everything I know and love. Confirm that theory as soon as you can. I'm sure we'll have a lot of convincing to do when word of this gets out. I won't sleep until I... Ugh, on second thought, maybe a little nap before I get started will be good for me. <sighs> Definitely do that. I'll try to find out what happened to our divine friend. With any luck, he's been scattered to the mists. At least we won the day, Commander. Score one for Dragon's Watch. True. And maybe one day we'll be a guild that can field a full team. Ha ha. Hey, don't be too hard on yourself. Rod Assume wasn't built in a day, you know. We'll get there soon enough. Alright, well... Uh... That was a thing. Um... And again, I had, a, I had a lot more trouble on that instance the first time. So Primordus is down there. We're in a room with an Elder Dragon still. That's on Novi. Uh, okay, a brief rundown on what just happened. Balthazar used the machine, as I described above, tapped into the ley lines, pit, pitted Primordus and Jormag's energies against one another, and then he used his own abilities to absorb the magic from them as they were damaged. So, Balthazar... It seems he's been weakened by something, which is why he went after the Bloodstone, and it's why he's going after the dragons. He said, they abated me, they dimmed my light, so perhaps a dispute with the other gods, and he's down here to recharge, and he does not care if he destroys the entire planet in the process. So, we have to stop him. Time he's like, hey, maybe he died in that. I wouldn't count on that. Um, the Path of Fire expansion exists. Uh, spoilers. But, uh, on the upside, Primordus and Jormag, Balthazar ripped enough magic from them that they fell back to sleep. Because essentially the Elder Dragons, I guess they absorb some magic as they wake up. I don't know how that works, but they're asleep now. Whatever. Which gives us some time. But we did just have a killing blow on two Elder Dragons, which we didn't take. And we could really suffer for that down the line. And we may have to answer to the Pact and people like Bram, who would be like, you have doomed us all. But 
it may have been what we needed to do, just face and stave off a greater threat, because as Timey discovered, the Elder Dragons are crucial in maintaining the magical balance on Tyrio. And without them, we're all dead. You have done a good deed. Thank you. The protection from the Elder Druids is at an end. Go in peace.